All right, a couple of you guys have asked what my setup was for what I fly. And so I'm going to try to describe this as quickly as possible. I've got my Castle Link open in my uh, 407 here. And I run a idle RPM and then a flight RPM. You can actually hear me say it when I flip the switch. Flight RPM. Idle RPM. Ground idle. Whatever you want to call it. So here's what I have it set. And a couple of the guys have asked, you know, what settings are you running? Uh, you know, whether you're running governor, whether you're running a straight line. Yes, I'm running a straight line because I am in set RPM in the governor mode. So you see here, helicopter type, governor mode. All the way over here is set RPM. And then you set your RPMs to what you want as to what throttle position you have in your uh, radio. And it's a flat curve from, you know, it's either this is 30%, this is 70%, and this is 100% all the way across. So you run a flat curve. Uh, and you notice there that I've got, uh, uh, you see the info is red because I have it set at 500 RPM. So on my three position idle up switch, which is usually kind of up here in the corner, all the way down is zero. I have it a zero throttle curve all the way across, just zero percent. Then I go up to 30 percent, which is this setting, which is 500. And if I go in here, let's see if I can do this without, let's see, here, go over here. Where's my, where's my cursor? Where's my cursor? My fat finger in the way. Why isn't it working? Get over here. Okay, so if I go in here and I check this, this little thing comes up and it says, you're running at approximately 32.7% of a normal governing head speed, which means they do not like it. But I am not flying it. I am merely running it at that RPM. And I've asked Castle about this and they said, yeah, you're fine. You're not flying it, all that other kind of good stuff. So yeah, you should be able to uh, do that just fine. So then I go over here, I press OK. Then in my idle up two position on my switch, I have it at a flat 70% throttle curve, and I have 1250 RPM at that point. And this will come up, and it says approximately 80.7% of the throttle output. So that's basically what my throttle percent is, is 81.7%, and it adjusts up and down to keep that 1,250 RPM. Does that make sense? Clear as mud? Yeah, okay, so then we take that off. Now, if you had a, theoretically, this is your three position switch, and you can set this one. But what I do is, since I run these two, the, I have zero, I have idle up one, and I have my idle up two. Now I can go into my throttle curve and I can activate this throttle RPM by moving it up to 100% on the throttle curve from left to right, 100% flat curve all the way across. And I do that with the switch. So there is part of what you see when I'm flying and you hear me do the, you know, flight RPM and all that other stuff. The other part of this is this initial spool up rate. And I usually have them set, and this is custom, I have it set at zero. Because I don't want a really hard hit on the RPM and two is even a kind of a hard hit for a scale helicopter. So I do it at zero right there. Then since I have a 
change rate between the 500 RPM and the 1250, I don't want that to go screaming from the low head RPM to the higher head RPM. I do a custom head change rate and I do it at one. So this will bring it up from 500 to the 1250 in roughly 20 seconds. So here is the uh the the change off the 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 trade off the trade off that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm saying the trade off okay so if you have this setup you cannot run the auto rotation which you can see over here I do not have it enabled what this change rate does if you have it enabled for auto rotation it will spool your blades back up rather quickly and uh, which is what you want if you're trying to bail out of a bad auto rotation we don't auto rotate these things so we use it for the change rate between the 500 rpm and the 1250 so this is how i have it all set up on all of my electric helicopters um yeah all of them they're all like this. The only ones that I don't have this set up and I actually use the auto rotation was the, uh, it, well, is the monstrosity in case I got to get out of that one. And then uh, when I had the, uh, the Red Bull going and you can see the result of me not doing a good auto, uh, I had it set up so that I could actually bail out and all that sort of good stuff. So... There is an explanation as to how I run my setup uh, for the ESC. This is a castle. I believe it's a 120. I can't see it down in there. But uh, I believe it's a 120 in here. But it would be the same for any uh, size ESC you have in there. I do the same exact thing on the 412 up there. Same exact setup. So... Now that I had this out, because I was changing uh, my governor, and where is it at? My little, my little governor right here. Uh, I was hearing some chirping, and we've been chasing this chirping noise in the motors of Jack's Bell 222 UT. And uh, I kept thinking it was motor timing, but he changed all the motor timing um, you know, he changed all this stuff and it didn't make any bit of difference. So we put it back to normal and he came back and said, hey, let me try uh, the governor gains. Maybe it was uh, weird and it was. We had it at uh, a high thinking that it needed to have more of a gain on spooling it up, you know, in a recovery situation or you get into vortex ring state and whatnot, but we were getting the, uh, the chirping noise. That's enough. Oh, it's got that weird fucking chatter on the motor though. Why do all God, I don't know what the fuck. Literally every every fucking motor, motor you have. And I noticed it in this one in the last flight that I did up there at the Tony Tie. So I had it at medium uh, up here. I had it at 25. So I'm going to drop it down to low. And we're going to see if the chirping will come back. And it's in the motor. It's a little fucking that. And that is a technical sound effect. Uh, so, so we're going to, we're going to try it out. Now I run Scorpions and he has a, um, an Align motor, I believe in the 222. So, which is even worse. The Aligns are really bad. He's been chasing this problem for years and years. So we're going to try to do a lower head governor gain on there where I went from a medium to a low. I, I didn't notice it a lot but it was there. So we're going to try it out. So there you go. Uh, there is a kind of an explanation as to how my setups are in uh, my stuff. And uh, if this helps, great. If it doesn't help, let me know. 
because we're always trying to find out, you know, how to make these things work better. So, all right. Uh, one of the things that keeps me from finishing the crane. Right there. Yep. I've got to finish it. And it's, yeah, this is one of those things. All right, get out and build something.